Hello everyone, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a what's in my pencil case video. If you remember, which I assume you won't because I don't post that often, um, I posted a what's in my teacher pencil case video back in 2022. Um, since I'm no longer working as a teacher, I thought I would make a new video to kind of update it and to also show you how my stationary arrangements and choices have changed over time. I do think it's quite interesting. I do like the history of personal objects. You know, I do like to see reflections of people's identities and and, and preferences and things like that in, in very mundane kind of objects. So I don't know, I, I just think it's quite interesting and, and, and it can be quite insightful as well to kind of um, get to know people through different objects that are important to them. So this is a pencil case from the brand Mr. Wonderful. Um, it's quite popular, I think, in Europe. I'm not sure if you guys have it in the US. I'm not so sure about that, but I do know that there are French versions and there are Italian translations and there are Mr. Wonderful Portugal. And I do like to, I think next time I travel to different countries, I'll probably buy some Mr. Wonderful stuff in different languages because I love the wordplay and I love the puns and, you know, the little, the little cute humor, you know? Sometimes it's a bit corny and it can be quite a, a bit cheesy sometimes as well, but um, I like to embrace it every now and then, you know? So this just says, why not today? And it's in this kind of pale pink. It's kind of like the Vance slip-ons from, I was gonna say from back in the day, like 2007 or whatever, but I mean, I keep seeing them all the time. So whatever, what, whatever, what have you. And it does have these daisies that are doodled all around. And here it says, Mr. Wonderful. And then in addition to that, it comes with this little, the zipper comes with this little ornament that says Mr. Wonderful as well. And I added this charm of an unknown of the Pokemon from second generation. And as you can see, it's the letter R. It's a charm that I got at a local convention and um, it was from an artist that I also got something, I also got something else from, from her that I will show you, but this is the charm. You can see there it has it does have some glitter i don't know if it will show but it has some sparkle there it's just you know it's subtle i mean i take this to the office so you know i don't want to have like too many bells and whistles you know um from this artist called sabrina in space right sabrina in space so that's her name sabrina in space and i also got this from her which is a kodama figurine um it's um if you're not familiar with these they're basically forest guardians uh, from Japanese mythology, and I think they do show up in some um, Miyazaki films. Films, So I thought I bought one because I found it cute and I just put it on next to all my other little figurines and knickknacks that I have. So, so it opens like this, of course. It opens like this. You see how I'm telling you how to open a pencil case? Anyway, <laughs> it opens like this. Okay, so here it is. Um, in, on this side, I have just some regular post-its. I have smaller post-its like this. And I also have these page flags. Would you call them page flags? These little, okay, this one came off, great. So I have these ones, these kind of page flags that I use not only to, to mark pages, but also to highlight stuff. And then I just move them from page to page. So for example, if I have something going on, I also have a notepad here for little tests that I wanted to do. So if I wanna, highlight something. For now, I'm just going to write A, B, C, D, okay? Just A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. It would be great if I wrote within the, the line, but whatever. So I just grab one of these and I highlight the idea like this. And then once I'm done, I just move this onto the next page or the next week or whatever I'm doing in my, my work notebook or my work planner. Um, I've seen this in a bunch of Korean Instagram accounts. I do think that if you want to see some very um, neat, minimalist kind of planning, you do need to check out all the Korean Instagram accounts, all the Korean uh, bullet journalers, all the Korean planners, because they do have, there's this style that even mixed in with the beauty of Korean handwriting, of Hangul handwriting, it just looks gorgeous in its simplicity, okay? So this is something I borrowed from those accounts. I'll leave some links on the video description in case you wanna see them. I'm gonna leave this here so we can keep going. And then there's this. 
there's this, which is not correction tape, but it's glue. It's from the Italian brand Legami, and it's like a cat paw. Um, a friend of mine gave this to me um, one of my birthdays together with a bunch of other stationary items and some um, some other kinds of stuff. I think there's also a Nintendo store gift card as well. I don't remember because it was some time ago, but I keep it with me here and it does, it does have glue on both sides in case I have to glue little things here and there. And then let's move on to the pens. So it has this compartment. I usually leave this one empty because I don't need that much and you're going to see that I have a bunch of multi pens. So these are just regular pens in case I have to let someone, you know, I have to borrow someone, I have to lend or someone has to borrow a pen. Um, of course, they can still have these ones, right? I don't gatekeep these pens. But um, sometimes I just, and even because sometimes your hand gets tired of using the same pen and I just like to switch. So this is just a regular ballpoint pen from Pentel. It says Antibacterial Plus. Um, I don't know if you can see it there. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's just a regular pen. So I'm just going to be like, hello. So Pentel Antibacterial. And it's a typical, typical, your, your usual typical, typical, typical black ballpoint pen. Then there's also a Bic. A regular Bic. Um, this was the, this is a fine Bic. It's the orange body. So I think it was either, yeah, it's the crystal fine blue. So, you know, this is how they write fine in blue and it's a Bic. Okay. Then there's a pencil, which is in this case, it's a raw ring pencil. It's just that I have a bunch of pencils. So I just take whichever pencil I have lying around. This is a bulb, a gel pen for Muji. It's the zero. 0.5, 0 0.5 in the light green. So there you go. Muji, 0 0.5, light green. Okay. And then the last one, whoop. Then the last one is one of those other antibacterial. I have a bunch of these maybe <laughs> during COVID. I was, you know, the whole antibacterial thing was all around us and the marketing and everything. So there was a huge emphasis on things being antibacterial and having antimicrobial coatings and things like that. So uh, well, I don't know if they work or not, but I liked the design of the pens and it's the from the Mil Milan brand, which is quite popular. I would say it's one of those brands that have always been with us, you know, from the little, the square erasers in school and whatnot. So again, it's just blue. So I really like how these write. Um, because they're quite smooth. I don't like my handwriting today. What is going on? Okay. Then, now let's get to the interesting part, I think. I think this is the most interesting part because I didn't have many of these before on my previous video, and I think you might like seeing them. So here is the last, this other compartment here. I have a regular eraser from Faber-Castell, which I've used, as you can see, quite a lot, so you can't even see the branding or anything, but it's just one of these regular dust-free erasers. Then I also have another correction tape from this brand. This was like a Euro 40 or like a Euro 50. Um, I have a bunch of these because I bought a bunch of them when I was doing my masters a few months ago and I'm using all of them up. So once I use them all up, I'll buy the, the smaller, cuter correction tapes that I can keep here and that don't take up as much space. Okay. Okay. Now, let's get to the multi-pens. So, continuing with the cheap stuff, there was this one, which I found a few days ago, and this was like a Euro 95. It's from the brand MP. You may find it in Italy, I think. Maybe in, in Spain and Portugal as well, you, we can find it in, in little shops as well. So, it, it's basically a ballpoint pen. It's a 0 0.7, and I'm going to show you. And it does also have... A mechanical pencil so it's a five in one right so i'm not i'm not gonna well i'm not gonna no i am gonna i am gonna and i gotta show you so this is the mp mp multi-pen and this is a 0 0.7 so that's that's the black that's the red 
That's the blue. And this is the green. There it is. I do think it was good value for money. I also have this Inkjoy gel from Paper Mate. It's, zero, it's a 0 0.7 pen. Can you see, can you focus? Can you focus, please? Yes. All right, it's a Ink Joy, and it's in this brown color. I don't usually, I don't really use brown pens that much, so whenever I find one, I like to get it. So Paper Mate, Ink Joy, Gel, 0 0.7. Okay, of course, we have a pencil sharpener for my pencil. And then let's move on to the multi pens. I've got two multi pens. These are the Uni Style Fit multi pens. I have the blue body with three colors and the pink body with other three colors. So the way I like to arrange these is to have, is for them to have a main writing color and then two other colors that I can use to underline or to do other kinds of highlighting with, right? So I'm gonna show you. Let's start with the blue body. <laughs> Let's begin. These are the Uni Style Fit pens. So this is the pink, this is the green, and these, I forgot to say it, but these are 0 0.38. So very, very thin. And this is the blue-black. Moving on to the pink body, you're going to see that I have, in this case, I've got the black. Okay, again, 0 0.38. Then I have violet, the violet color. And finally, I have the tangerine. Thought I would also also show you the refills just to see so you can see what they look like. So they usually look like this and they are in Japanese and you have the the size, so the nib size here, the 0.38 in this case. I'm gonna show you this one. This one is already dried out, but I kept it because I wanted to show it to you. I mean it's just it's just the refill, it's already dried out. Look at the the detail. You have the I don't know if it will show on camera. But you do have the, the number here and the name of the color, 64 blue black. This is the blue black. This was the mandarin orange. I wrote, I said tangerine, but it's mandarin orange. So I stand corrected. Then there's the violet. And then there's the little, the black one, right? So these are the refills for these pens. All right, so that's everything as far as my current pencil case goes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me what kinds of pens you use, how do you usually organize your pencil cases, and it does not matter whether you're going to school or not because I'm sure you all use pencil cases and you all love to use pens and all things like this. Otherwise, why would you be watching this video? <laughs> so I can't wait to read your comments. Let me know your thoughts and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!